This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Joseph Comrade created his works in the period of modernism and modernity. This period can be characterized by rejecting the past and viewing the world from the post-colonial perspective. It is from this perspective that Comrade's novel Heart of Darkness, written in 1899, can be considered. This novel presents a framed narration or story within another story. Marlowe, the main character, tells about his trip to Central Africa to his colleagues. Back then, his main task consisted of finding one of the company's agents, the ivory collector named Kurtz. The biggest part of the novella is dedicated to Marlowe's traveling across the Tropic River in search of the ivory collector. The story is full of terrifying details of Aboriginal life and depiction of colonial oppression. The author critically opposes the material and inner darkness of the British and the Africans. He calls Africa the Dark Continent, and it is not only due to the color of the skin of the biggest part of its population. These people were regarded and treated as something miserable, not worth respecting. They were the savages to whom civilization should have been brought. Concerning this issue, Heart of Darkness casts light upon the ideology of imperialism. Heart of Darkness reflects the paradoxes of imperialism in the late 19th century by exposing the exploitation of foreign lands and people, Africa, and the Africans in particular. The novel uses its characters and their speaking names to present the paradoxes of imperialism, thus making a contrast between black and white people extremely vivid. To begin with, Heart of Darkness indicts the imperialism of the 19th century, which could be characterized by the cruel and unfair treatment of the subordinate population. Comrade uses the contrast between Marlowe's ideas about imperialism at the beginning and the end of the story to show his attitude toward it. At first, Marlowe is fascinated by the possibilities that imperialism offers him. At the end, however, he reflects on everything he has seen with horror. He cried in a whisper at some image, at some vision, he cried out twice, a cry that was no more than a breath, the horror. The horror. This was Marlowe's reflection on what he saw during his trip. He witnessed the cruel treatment of the Africans, who were treated as if they were not humans at all. In the course of his trip, Marlowe gets to know the real side of the imperialists who try to impose the image of helpers and protégés. Thus, depicting the grief that imperialism brought to some countries, Heart of Darkness criticizes this ideology. In addition, the novella reflects the paradoxes of imperialism through the use of the speaking names of the characters, which points to the inequality that imperialism entails. These speaking names can be read as the symbols of the darkness of the European mind contrasting to the darkness of the barbaric Africans. Thus, for instance, Kurtz means short, while Klein means small. This, even though indirectly, points to how devalued human life was during imperialism. Belgian imperialism is the most ardently criticized by the author. For example, even though the company for which Marlowe works is Belgian, it is named the Continental Trading Company, and, suggesting imperialism in general, Conrad frequently refers to it simply as the company. Imperialism is presented as created by the whole of Europe. Conrad creates this idea based on Kurtz's name, which seems to be German, though, in reality, he has nothing to do with Germany. His mother was half English, his father was half French. All of Europe contributed to the making of Kurtz. In this way, Conrad uses his characters to present the paradox of imperialism and is rather sarcastic when doing so. And finally, Heart of Darkness points out how imperialism leads to racial inequality by creating a distinct contrast between black and white people. Imperialism, like any ideology based on domination, presupposed that there was an imperial power, hence, it is racial and national inequality because if one nationality is imperial over another, the subordinate one will always be perceived as different and worse. Racial inequality was rather habitual in colonial Africa and Congo, for instance, horrific racial acts were part of the normal processes of pacification of the natives. In Heart of Darkness, the Africans are referred to as a separate race, not just as separate people, having its peculiarity. The old river in its broad reach rested unruffled at the decline of the day after ages of good service done to the race that peopled its banks. 
This shows that imperialism was not only a political ideology, it also largely promoted cultural differences, resulting in racial inequality. In conclusion, Heart of Darkness criticizes the process of imperial expansion in Africa using its main character, Marlowe, to show the contrast between what imperialism was meant to be, an ideology giving people numerous possibilities, and what it was in reality, a process which neglected the human rights and promoted racial hatred. These paradoxes of imperialism are revealed through the speaking names of its characters, horrifying details of the treatment of black people, and impressions obtained by Marlowe from his trip to Africa. If you want to find more works like this essay on imperialism in Joseph Conrad's The Heart of Darkness, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects.